Next is domain and range. The domain of the functions is the set of all first components of the ordered The range of a function is the set of all second component of the ordered pairs of the functions. So based on this diagram, this one is the domain, this one is the range. So what are the domain? The members of the domains are A, B, and C, while the members of the range are D and E. There are two methods to determine the domain and range of a function. The first method is graphical approach, and the second method is the algebraic approach. But in this lecture, we will cover the graphical approach and for the algebraic approach please ask your tutor graphical approach in order to decide the domain and the range so here we will cover different functions but we will start with a constant function what is constant? constant is any number it can be 5 it can be 3 it can be negative 5 it can be 22 over 7 any number so what is the shape of a constant function the shape is a straight line here and it is given by the green line here so you just take a ruler and draw a straight line so this is a constant function but make sure you label your x here and this one label as fx so what is the domain for a constant function the domain for a constant function is negative infinity to infinity and for the range is c note here is use set Sketch the graph of fx equals to 3 Hence, find the domain and range So this one is fx equals to 3 And by now you should know this one is a constant Right? So which means It's just a straight line right? So we have to sketch First one, we draw the so label this one as x and label this one as fx. So this one is zero for origin. Where is three? Three is somewhere up here, right? And you label your functions so fx equals to three. Set up. So hence finds the domain and range. So what is the domain? Domain is negative infinity to infinity and range is 3. Set notation, set notation. That, that is constant function. Second function is a linear function so what is linear so linear function is when you have your function x should be power of x should be power of 1 x power of 1 that is linear right? so we have two types of linear functions either this one is we call it increasing and this one is decreasing okay when when is linear function increasing when we have a greater than zero then the linear function is increasing 
and we have a less than zero then then the linear function is decreasing right. so what is b here so b here is y intercept and again here we have b and b here is y intercept two. okay so the shape of linear function depends on the value of a either a is greater than zero or a is less than zero for domain domain for linear functions is from negative infinity to infinity and range for the linear function is negative infinity to infinity sketch the graph of the following functions hence find the domain and range so this one is sketch so for example 5.3a so we have a fx equals to 5 minus 2x okay so first one we know this one is linear function why because x of 1 second one increasing or decreasing so this one is decreasing because a less than 0 Third one, check your intercepts. Right. So x intercept So x intercept is when y equals to zero. So y zero x equals to So y intercept at zero y equals to so we know everything here. So now it's cash. Label this one as x. Label this one as x. And this one is decreasing function. Use your ruler. Okay. Label this one as 5.2. This one is f. Label function fx is 2 5 minus 2x 10 right this one is 5 okay finally then this one we sketch the graph so find the domain and range so the domain is negative infinity to infinity and range is also negative infinity to that is example 500. Okay. Next one is 5.3b. So we have a function which is fx equals to 2x, and this one we have the domain here. Right? So first one. We know this one is a linear because of x power of 1. Second one, we know this one is increasing because a greater than 0. Third one, intercept. Right, so x intercept 
Y intercept. Right. So both are at the origin. Right? This one. But this one, pay attention on here. This one is actually the domain for the linear functions. We are given a strict domain, right? So our domain now is no longer negative infinity to infinity. So what we have to do here is we find the end of the function so for when x equals to negative 2 y equals to negative 4 and when x equals to 3 y equals to 6 so this one we sketch the graph label this one as x label this one as x right. and we know this one is increasing what we are going to do is straight line with your ruler please right. so this one is This one should be negative two, right? And this one should be so when x negative two, this one is negative four. This one equals two. Label your function. So your function is double sum x x. Okay. So what is the domain? Domain is here. Right? But before that, right. pay attention on the inequality sign here. So with this one we don't have the equal sign. So this one we have equal signs. So play around with your empty dot and black dot. So for above 3, you use the black dot here. And for negative 2 here, you use the empty dot. Okay, because of the inequality sign. So our domain is negative 2, 3. Again, use your inequality sign. So this one is open bracket. This one is closed bracket domain and your range is what is your lowest value is negative 4 what is your highest value is 6 and 6 here coming from the black dot so it should be close and negative 4 here empty dot this one should be open right so this one I would like to remind you all of you but pay attention on the inequality side. 